These bitches deserve me, I step my bars up And I never switch my jersey, you need to step your bars up I'm feeling like James, I'm worthy None of these hoes got me starstruck They run after me like a derby Check it, check it, check it Welcome to Street Flames, crew the day We got Hernandez Govan The last mastermind of the Young Dolph murder Appeared in court on Friday For some reason He didn't go to court the day before he allegedly had a barrage of phone calls. What was the phone calls about? Oh, yeah, to you other bloggers, man. I hear it. I hear it. I hear everything you're saying. Talking about we shouldn't be talking about this case. We shouldn't be doing this. We shouldn't be doing this. Listen, check this out. We're not trying to hear them jail stories and all this and all that. We're trying to hear what's going on now and what's really going on. We're not trying to hear nothing else, man. Some jail stories is getting played out. We're hearing it about everybody. A lot of mother stories are getting played out. And this is no diss to no one. But like we said, people are accountable for what they're doing. If y'all talking about people going to jail, you don't want people to go to jail. So we're going to talk about the people that's doing these crimes and that's admitting it and committing the crimes. Listen, we're not putting nobody under the bus or nothing. But Hernandez go in. Apparently, it was a concerned citizen talking about your case, bruh. Talking about what's going on. I think it was me or Jay or on there. Me or Jay, that was a good call, man. It's a good call. But y'all let me know in the comment section know what y'all think. I'm gone. Mr. Govine, um, I don't have to tell you that you're not guilty. Um, you know, I don't even have to go back through that. Okay. Um, I also shouldn't have to remind you that you're out on a bond that, and the court has put you on some real serious or some real tight stipulations. Yes, ma'am. At this point, the court feels like you're playing and playing fast and loose with the court in these stipulations. And I don't like that. You have filed a motion with your attorney asking me to review your bond conditions. And before we could ever do that, I get a message from a concerned citizen that you're out doing interviews. Whether you're talking about this case or not, you're doing interviews. And and the court doesn't like the fact that you feel free enough to do interviews. Because what could be happening is that you could be in jail. And it's a whole lot easier to supervise you there. Be in jail. And it's a whole lot easier to supervise you. Because what could be happening is that you could be in jail. And it's a whole lot easier to supervise you there. But you've been given the opportunity to post a bond with, with bond conditions, and you're not doing those things you need to do. We're going to review those bond conditions on March the 1st, but let me make myself extremely clear to you that you are to not have any interviews with anybody for any reason. Your attorney has assured me that nothing was said about this case in that interview, and I'm out. I have no reason not to believe what he told me was true. But like I said, you should not be interviewing with anyone. You should not be making any public statements, and you should be in the house. That means not going to anybody's funeral. Put your hand down when you're speaking through your attorney at this point. Yes, that means not going to funerals or anywhere else. That means in the house as of right now. Yes, ma'am. And about you not showing up on yesterday or showing up and then leaving because your counsel thought it was appropriate to allow you to go home because you were getting a barrage of phone calls, that's neither here nor there. 
When you're supposed to be here, you're supposed to be here. Go home because you were getting a barrage of phone calls. That's neither here nor there. When you're supposed to be here, you're supposed to be here. Were you not on my docket yesterday? Yes, yes, ma'am. You were supposed to be here. Bottom line. And I thought I was. He instructed me not to come. I, I was. Like I said, you are supposed to be here. Whether your attorney is here or not, you should be here. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand what house arrest means as of this point? Yes, ma'am. I'll see you back here on March the 1st, sir. All right, thank you. Please don't give me any reason to, to revoke this bond. Right. And then we won't even have to have these conversations. Yes, ma'am. March 1st.